Hello and welcome everyone. Today I will be giving you my raw initial thoughts on the new Call of Duty Cold War beta. Now, you might be thinking, who is this guy and why should we listen to him? Well, I'm glad you asked or thought it. Uh, I used to play Call of Duty uh, every single day after school. In fact, I've actually played every Call of Duty to date um, and I actually used to play it semi-professionally. Oh, look at this guy. But after reaching the max rank in the beta, I felt compelled to make a video giving you my honest opinion on the Call of Duty Cold War beta. Now, considering this game comes out next month and myself, like many others, have pre-ordered the game, I want to get my thoughts and feelings out there. So, without further ado, let's start with the pros. Now, the game looks stunning. Breathtaking, actually, I may add. Um, I think it seriously represents and brings Call of Duty into the next generation. I mean, the cutscenes at the start are just absolutely incredible. They do trump and go above and beyond what Modern Warfare currently offers. Now, I'd go as far as saying it is the closest safe-to-work content for your eyes on the internet, which is very, very visually stimulating. Um, let's jump into the creator class. Now, the creator class is amazing. Um, I think it builds on what Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare did well last time. Um, and it gives you a lot more in-depth uh, analysis in what the attachments can provide uh, for your guns in terms of buffing it. Um, and the information is kind of accurate. You don't have to sort of go off what a bar is saying. You know, if your gun is 10% uh, better with this attachment, it's going to tell you it's 10% better. Um, and I think this is an amazing improvement. But let's not forget about the flow and speed of this game. It's just incredible. It is, it is honestly like sliding a hot knife through butter. Like this stuff is so, so, so smooth. Like many a times I've been thinking that I've been dancing on ice, just gliding around, which is very satisfying. And, you know, just not giving a care in the world and just running around, just enjoying playing the game. Um, but... I think it's kind of expected from AAA titles now these days with the amount of investment that goes into these games and as you may or may not know that Call of Duty is one of the biggest selling franchises um, every single year and generates so much revenue from these Call of Duty games that you kind of come to expect it but it is always nice to see when the end product of a game sort of does what it says on the tin. And sadly this is where my praise stops for the Call of Duty beta. This is an honest review. Um, and that is where my praise stops. As you can tell, there are not many pros to this beta, in my opinion. Now, obviously, this beta is in beta. It is beta for a reason. There are still, still a little bit of time for some change. But I think massively, apart from some bug fixes and some rebalances around the guns, I don't think there's too much is going to change. And what we have seen is more than likely what we're going to get. So let's jump to the cons. Now, the name tags seem to be a, little, be a little bit off in the game. I found myself shooting teammates regularly, which is very fortunate that Friendly Fire wasn't on, otherwise I'd be a very hated man, that's for sure. They just seem to be off when sometimes people are running. Now, obviously, that's a minor fix, um, and obviously not too game-breaking, but uh, for sure can be definitely annoying. Um, now, in my head, I've been going constantly backwards and forwards, whether I like the health bars or not. Um, I do really want to know how close I was to killing someone. But sometimes, you know, do I really want to know how close I was to killing someone? Or better yet, how much I know of a clip I unloaded into someone. I've thrown the kitchen sink at them. You know, I've thrown the fridge at them, the refrigerator. Every I've thrown everything at this guy, whether it be grenades, bullets, everything. And they are not dying. And, you know, they're on one HP. And I can sometimes find that kind of tilting rather than me just sort of dying. Um, I found that enemies don't stand out and they blend in way too much. In most scenarios, they seem to blend in like chameleons. Like you can be coming around a corner and like because sometimes the map seems quite saturated in its somewhat some sometimes like bland colors in certain certain maps like enemies just blend in. And I found it hard sometimes to see people and uh, see the reds um, to, of like the enemy's tags. I even tried changing over to the colorblind mode setting and I still didn't see too much of improvement. Um, I think um, the kill to, you know, the kill time in this game as well seems a little off to me as well. Um, it just, to me, sometimes people die way too quickly and other times people seem like they sponge way too many bullets. And this is sort of coupled with the recall of a lot of guns as well. The recall and a lot of guns seems very insane. Like, 
in, in modern warfare, a lot of the time, um, especially in Warzone, like with the growls and stuff, you can kind of learn the patterns of these spray, the spray patterns of these guns. And I found with modern warfare that I wasn't really getting that sort of feel with it. I don't know, the gunplay just feel off. The guns just do not feel unique. There is like maybe one or two guns that are usable, like the AK-74U, um, and maybe one or two of the assault rifles. Uh, but apart from that, everything just feels lacking. Like, it's, it just hasn't got that oomph. The, the guns just don't have their individual characters that a lot of other Call of Duty titles give to those guns. And let's not forget about that this is another Call of Duty, and it seems like they haven't learned from the other Call of Duties. Shotguns are secondaries again. Have we not learned anything from Modern Warfare 2 with the Spaz 12, the Model 1887 shotguns? Like, shotguns are hard enough to balance in any game, let alone in Call of Duty themselves, and why put them as a secondary? Like, I get in some cases shotguns aren't as powerful as primary guns, but they are definitely more powerful than secondary guns, and giving people that option to run around with a shotgun as a secondary, I found myself getting pelted with pellets from shotguns multiple times, and it just it's just ridiculous. Like, I'm, I'm a big no-no for uh, shotguns as secondaries. Ah, now moving on to grenades. Why do they take forever to cook? I honestly could go downstairs in my house, make a three-course meal, and I could come back upstairs and the grenade would still be cooking. Like, somehow, it's just crazy. Like, to pull the pin on that bad boy is ridiculous. It takes far too long. It slows down the fast gameplay that is meant to be Call of Duty. I feel like sometimes I'm running around holding this grenade, waiting for myself to pull this pin. It is simply ridiculous. But that's not all. Oh, no, it doesn't stop there. No, no, no. In this era and in this Call of Duty, somehow we're able to alter the gravity and throw grenades literal miles. Like I've, I, I've, I've been on the other side of the map and I've seen that somebody is catching the B flag on domination. I've, I've told the boys, don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send a grenade over there. Send a grenade over there, get one or two kills. It is insane. And for a next gen, like a next gen game uh, that looks so beautiful and is taking us a step closer to, you know, that more realistic gameplay that we're looking from, like these grenades definitely sort of detract from that. But I guess while we're on the topic of realism and why this game is, you know, meant to be realistic, like, you can jump over things that are quite literally double your height. It's crazy. You see a rock, a wall. Don't worry, you've got your Air Jordans on. You'll be able to hot skip and jump straight over that thing without a care in the world. It's absolutely insane. Like, I, I, there is a rock on the map Cartel. Don't worry, we're going to get to the maps. There is a map called Cartel. And there is a rock that is simply, like, it is massive. It honestly looks like it's been put there to stop people rotating into mid from... No, you can jump over it. You, you can jump over it very confidently. Jump straight over that bad boy with not a care in the world. But can we also just acknowledge the fact that in this beta, we haven't been able to play the game modes that we want. I've had to play quick play and play team deathmatch, which is single-handedly the worst game mode in the world. Let's break it down for you. Half the people run around like headless chickens, not really knowing what they're doing. And it's kind of, I always seen team deathmatch as like the newbie game mode. You know, the game mode that people just jump into straight away. It's first on the list, every Call of Duty. People that don't really know how Call of Duty works, just jump in there. It's a shoot them up. You kill some people. You have a good time. Now, the other half of the people sit in corners. They pitch their tent. They're ready to commit 40 days and 40 nights just to get, you know, their 12 kill streak or to get their chopper gunner. It, it, it blows my mind how people play like this. Oh, and then on the other hand, there's obviously me getting killed by all these people because if I walk up, I'm getting killed by, um, you know, the headless chickens running around. Or if I go into a building, I'm getting killed by someone that's been in a corner for 30 days and they've pitched their tent and they're ready for war. So I've not really been enjoying this terrible game mode. And, the, you know, the game is where I have enjoyed domination and stuff. You know, it, it makes it a lot more enjoyable. Now, let's get into the maps. Wow, let's get into the maps. Probably the worst thing about this beta. So the maps do not have this familiar three lane system that is designed in all common Call of Duty maps. Your shipments, your shoot houses, they have three simple lanes that all Call of Duty maps have all been based on. <clears throat> through the ages excuse me through the ages yeah uh, it, it just works it's a formula that works don't change it stick to the formula that works it's simple 
Let's get into the map. So we've got Cartel, which is single-handedly the worst Call of Duty map I've ever seen and ever played. The visibility in this map is absolutely terrible. We should see the memes on Twitter. They're asking David Von der Haar to get his, his um, lawnmower out and to cut down the vegetation because the grass needs a cutting. Even the map overgrown on Call of Duty it is, has more visibility and is meant to be an overgrown map. It is simply called overgrown. This thing is meant to be overgrown. It has more visibility than a map called Cartel. You run down middle and you're literally running through bushes upon bushes like you're in some suburban area or maybe even in a jungle. It is absolutely terrible. Let's move to Miami. Miami is a stunning, actually beautiful map. Um, I've considered many times like when playing this game about how cool it would be to visit a place like this, which I guess kind of sums up how bad this map plays. It's a beautiful map but it just seems far too open uh the mid the mid section unplayable both right hand sides have so much uh both left hand right hand sides have so much levels uh to it um that if if you're running anything other than an assault rifle you're going to get caught out in so many gunfights either by a sniper um or you know a marksman rifle uh someone in a advantageous position on yourself moscow now moscow is not a terrible map um when we were playing objective based game builds on this i actually found it quite enjoyable and the look of the map was great um it, it kind of harped back to the three lane um call of duty maps that we love to see um so this this is probably the best map of the video i haven't got anything to say about this apart from fairly good map ah oh, now let's move to satellite now satellite is is one big sandy mess uh, that's that's all i can say i mean if you head over to the sandy hills on the far side of the map you'll be met with the following uh, either sand snakes, uh, sand snakes, or more commonly known as campers that lie down and sit and wait for you in the sand. I mean, they lie there all game, wait for you to walk around the corner, you know, try to get a bit of a flank on. Now nah, you're going to die. Oh, then we've got the amazing hard scopers. They will sit on those sand dunes all game, and all you'll see is that sniper, that sniper scope glint. And before you know it, you'll be dead every single time. Oh, and let's not forget about the Kobe wannabes who will bank every single grenade off spawn into your face without fail. As soon as they spawn, they're like, oh, where's this grenade going? Off to the sand dunes. That's where it's going. Which leaves only the, you know, the left side or the right side of the map where the sort of crash plane is, is the only playable side of the map. So you're only playing a little small section of the map that is only playable. So again, a map like this definitely needs a rework. But... In conclusion, um, after, you know, my extensive hours that I've put into this beta, I get massive Battlefield vibes from these maps. From the map layout to the lighting, the um, structure of the maps, you name it, anything. Like, just something about this game in general, whether it be the maps, the gunplay, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't sit right with me. I've, I've asked many people on Twitter, I was like, I do not know what it is. I cannot put my finger on the single-handedly thing that is making me dislike this game but i just can't put my finger on it ah <sighs> it's just the the replayability on this beta definitely wasn't there for me that i didn't feel myself going oh i need to play another game i need to play another game it was kind of i felt for i felt like i was forcing myself to like it or look for the positives in the game and to sort of justify why i'm spending the time to play this beta i think i think um whether you agree or disagree with my opinion on this game, I definitely want you guys to use the comment section so that we can have discussions on what you liked and what you didn't like. And maybe we can come to that conclusion of the thing that I'm missing. You know, that oomph, like the thing that I don't understand, why I do not like it. Maybe someone can tell me or we can talk about that. But the one thing I think that we can all agree on is that this game has been a step backwards from Modern Warfare without a shadow of a doubt. I don't understand why they have to release a game every year. Well, actually, you know what? They make a lot of money. It's one of the biggest grossing franchises every single year due to the fact that they released this Call of Duty. It sells. You guys and myself keep buying these games and they will keep producing them. I think if they were to invest a lot more time, resources into a Call of Duty like Modern Warfare, which we know has seen so much hype, has seen so much like progression and it has been a staple and a milestone in the call of duty franchise bringing you know a it is it sort of brought the call of duty life it's brought the life back into call of duty so i think that they should i know they're gonna do the crossover war zone but i think they need to put a lot more effort 
into the Modern Warfare we do have at the moment and stop producing so many games. But that's it today, guys. That is my sort of review of the Call of Duty Cold War beta. Um, I had some fun with it, but mostly I found myself forcing myself to play it. But if you guys have got any thoughts and opinions, please leave them in the comment section. It's been your boy ZRVK, and I'm out. Peace.